Rock's going, driver, just in time for the flight to Texarock. Come on, Wilma, step on it, Rubbles! Isn't it exciting, Pebbles? You're going to visit Uncle Tex on his ranch. Go, go, Uncle Tex! <laughs> Uncle Tex, oh, he'll love her! Maybe enough to give her a few shares of oil stock. Oh, uh, yeah, Fred. Uh, there's nothing like a rich uncle. Uh, maybe if I'm real sweet, Uncle Tex will adopt me. <laughs> <laughs> now stop it, Barney. Just be thankful we were invited along with Fred and Wilma. Look at that, Bam Bam. He won't make a move without his barbell. Oh, okay, Bam Bam. D that's enough. Drop it. Ow! Oh, right on my toe! See how he listens to me? <laughs> Happy, we almost forgot about him. Ham, 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 ham. But where's Dino? Dino, Dino, where are you? <laughs> okay, we're all here. I still don't see how we all got in that little taxi. Well, it uh, just shows you the power of positive shrinking. <laughs> Fred, shouldn't we be checking in? We'll miss the plane. Oh, don't worry, Wilma. I know this airline. They never leave on time. Last call for Texas Rock, flight number seven, leaving on time. Smart Alec. Hey, that's us. Well, what are we standing around for? Come on, Betty. We better take Dino and Hoppy to the air freight counter. Poor things. They'll have to be locked up in cages all the way to Texas Rock. <laughs> Hurry up, Barney. Follow me. Right, Fred. Flintstones and Rubbles to Texarock. You're just in time, gentlemen. Good. <laughs> we wouldn't want to keep my rich Uncle Tex waiting. <laughs> now, let's see. You're flying on our special one-class midweek economy Blue Ribbon 30-day tourist excursion family thrift plan, correct? Uh, no, well, we're going by plane. Oh, <laughs> cut it out, Barney. If it wasn't with a family thrift plan, we couldn't afford the trip. Now, I'll have to weigh your baggage. Uh, here you go. Hey, it's just... Genuine aeroplane luggage. Uh, made out of an old aeroplane. <laughs> 39 and a half pounds. For this, I had to go to college. <laughs> Just under the limit, Mr. Rubble. Your bag, Mr. Flintstone. I'll do it myself. <laughs> 100 pounds? Uh-oh. Fred, you're overweight. Really, sir? We sold you the family thrift plan, not the family cheapskate plan. So, uh, this is what they call the family thrift plan, huh, Fred? Yeah, except the ads don't tell you that the head of the family rides on the outside. Oh, well, uh, you know these coach flights. You uh, do away with the frills. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Fred. Look at that big black cloud up ahead. Yeah, what about it? Oh, looks scary. Oh, don't be so ignorant. That is just typical of the cumulonimbus simbus formation found in these warmer climates. What were you saying about the, 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 the warmer climates, Fred? I, 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 I guess we, we must be taking the uh, polar route. <laughs> Good afternoon, gentlemen. I'm your stewardess, Miss Brickhouse. Coffee, tea, or ichthyosaurus milk? What, no peanut butter sandwiches? If, if you don't mind, miss, we, we'd like two hot water bottles on, on the rocks. Yeah, but boiling water, eh? And hurry, well, we're freezing. Well, why don't you uh, come in and warm up and watch the movie? A movie? Uh, uh, what's playing? Who cares about seeing a movie? It's one of the new foreign films, you know, with Brigitte Barduzzi. I'm not interested in any Brigitte Barduzzi. Wow! <laughs> hey, Fred! Hey, hey, wait a minute! Look down there! It's Texarock! We're here, Barney! Attention, all passengers, this is your pilot. With luck, we should be landing in a few minutes. <laughs> what does he mean by luck? Don't worry about him. He's one of our best student pilots. Fasten your seatbelts, please. Student pilot? You better fasten your seatbelt, Fred. Right, Barney. There she is. Boy, this is a fat one. Hex a rock! Here we come! Whoopee! Hey, hey, Fred! Fred, you all right? 
that cute, Brad? Look at all those kids. <laughs> this is gonna be a party you'll never forget. Hi, everybody. Daddy, Barney, come on in. How's that for a birthday cake, Barn? Oh, looks like the caterer is right on the ball, Fred. It's a beaut. Sit next to Pebbles, Bam Bam. I wish I understood baby talk. Yeah. Maybe we're missing a good joke. <laughs> okay, Fred, start the party. Right, sweetheart. All right, let the show begin. Presenting the Alligators Ragtime Band Plus Two. Kind of a swinging group for a kid's party. But I guess the caterer knows what he's doing. Millions of them. Uh-oh, the boulder rat. Something's gone wrong. Boy, oh boy, we never had anything like this when I was a kid. <laughs> Hush up, Barney. Fred, what's the meaning of this? As soon as I find out, I'll let you know. Uh, this way, girls. All right, Fred, you'd better start explaining. Well, I, 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 I better get the kids started on the game. I wonder where Rocco the Clown is. He's supposed to run this show. Here, kids, we're all going to play pin the tail on the dinosaur. Hey, thanks, Mr. Flintstone. You're welcome, Harvey. I got a pair of jacks. Three queens. Four aces. Fred, they're playing poker. Sorry, kids. The game's over. Don't worry, Wilma. I'll get rid of the cards and serve some refreshments. Here they come again. I was only trying to push him out the back door. Never mind, Barney, I'll do it. They're out. Oh, boy, what a mess. Holy mackerel. I can't believe it. Man, that Flintstone really knows how to live. And if you want to keep on living, you better get back to those dishes. Yes, dear. Now, if I can only think up an excuse to give Wilma... <laughs> Pick a minute. You dancing girls out. Come on, out, out, out. Oh, that man. This is Bedrock, county seat of Cobblestone County. 200 feet below sea level, population 2,500. Even though Bedrock is an average Stone Age town, the wheel isn't the only invention. The citizens of Bedrock have many modern conveniences. Bedrock has plenty of stores, such as the supermarket, the butcher, the baker, and the pizza pie maker. Bedrock is a modern Stone Age city with many forms of transportation and many ways for Fred and Barney to get to work. There's a subway. Pebble Street, next stop. A city bus a railroad, and of course, the superhighway. No, no, wait! Which would be useless without the invention of the horn. Uh, uh -huh. Or the traffic light. And here's our chance. Stone Age transportation is highly advanced with the invention of the four-engine jet. Fire engine one. Fire one. Here she comes! Do you think that's safe, Fred? Of course. These modern planes fly with only two bikes, if necessary. Unlike the modern jet, the family sedan is easy to work on. The Frenus pen's connected to the thingamajig. The doohickey is connected to the Frenus pen. Some even credit Barney Rubble with building the first flying machine. We ought to drop the bowling balls. Yeah, on your head. And you cut your arms up and down. You mean like this? <laughs> it's working, Fred. It's working. 
The citizens of Bedrock had many modern ways to communicate. There are plenty of telephones, a switchboard operator. I'm sorry, Mr. Slabside is busy. Will you leave a message, please? And voicemail. Are there any messages? This is Jay L speaking. The Flintstones get their information from many different sources, such as the Sunday paper. Did you get your paper, dear? Yeah. And I'm lucky. It only comes once a week. The radio. We interrupt this program to bring you a flash from Holly Rock. A mail system. And of course, the ever popular television Good set. Good evening, friends. This is your mystery hour. Barney! Of course, television isn't the only form of entertainment in Bedrock. Fred and Barney love to play golf. He hit that one real fast. <laughs> they like to listen to records. Hold it, Mac. Thanks. Don't mention it. <laughs> they love to play pinball. And go to amusement parks. How's the air up there, girls? It's getting thin, Fred. Just like my patient. And of course, the boys love to go bowling. <laughs> You're the greatest, Fred. And why not get a refreshing drink from the Stone Age vending machine? But before Fred and Barney can go bowling, they have to do the household chores. And don't forget to clean up afterwards. Fred and Barney aren't the only ones doing the chores around the house. On the domestic side, Wilma and Betty also make use of many modern conveniences. I'm catching up on some of my sewing. A vacuum cleaner. A juicer. I don't know what we housewives would do without a good waste disposal. And a washing machine. And of course, no modern Stone Age household would be complete without the barbecue grill. You know, I was just thinking. I have a kitchen full of the latest gadgets, and here I am out in the yard cooking the way they did a hundred years ago. Yes, Bedrock is a modern Stone Age city. What's that? Some kind of a gadget? <laughs> With its elevators. Good morning, Mr. Robbo. Take me up fast, will you, Lester? Hey, Bill, take us up to the fifth floor. Right, Les. Giddy up, Matilda. Indoor plumbing. <laughs> police department. <laughs> fire department. <laughs> the building of the city of Bedrock itself would have been impossible without this highly specialized construction equipment. this advanced technology, Bedrock is a modern city, a model for things to come. Okay, almighty gazoo, I'd like a big juicy Bronto burger. Hey, it works. How about 20 bucks? <laughs> hey, hey, my turn. I, I want a beautiful new dress for my wife. Me too. I want a beautiful new dress for my wife. I'd like a gym set for Bam Bam. I'd like a new doll for Pebbles. We need some garden furniture. We need a new dining room set. And new golf clubs. A fishing pole. Bowling pole. Have your fun, fellows. But take heed, greed brings trouble. Which is now approaching. An officer of the law, I believe. Uh, you explain all this to him, will you, Gazoo? I can't. You two are the only ones who can see me. <laughs> all right, what's going on? What's all this stuff? <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, well, it just, uh... Uh, no. <laughs> but we just found it. Oh, you found it, huh? Out here in the middle of the road, huh? <laughs> All right, citation number one. Failing to report stolen property. Oh, this property wasn't stolen. It's ours. Uh, we were taking it home. Yeah, that's right. Oh, you were, huh? All right, citation number two. Transporting stolen property. Kazoo, we changed our minds. We don't want this stuff, at least for now. As you wish. Flintstones, the 